Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslo here, and I thought in today's video I'm gonna go over T-Rex Miner, you know, like how to use it, as well as giving like just my thoughts and opinions about it, like a little like mini tutorial slash review of T-Rex Miner. So this video is gonna be aimed at people who are either just starting out mining and wanna learn how to use T-Rex Miner, or maybe you're using NiceHash, but you want to move into directly mining with a miner like T-Rex because you want to get those few last extra percentages of profit that NiceHash and the people renting your hash power on NiceHash take from you. And you're going to get all of that with T-Rex. But before we get started, there are two things that you need. So the first thing is you need to know which coin you want to be mining and you also need a wallet address for that coin that is yours so that you can have somewhere to mine that coin too but yeah that is it let's uh, jump into the video so what we are gonna do is i've got my nine times 1660 super rig here that i built in my previous video so you can check out the link for that if you're interested uh, but this has an old version of T-Rex Miner on it. So I figured I would take the opportunity now that I need to update uh, T-Rex on it anyway to show you the process of how to download and uh, sort of set up T-Rex. So I'm just gonna put you guys down on the table here and make sure that you can see what I'm seeing on the screen. So one thing to keep in mind is that T-Rex Miner is a miner for NVIDIA cards only. So if you have AMD cards, the process will probably be pretty similar. You just need to use uh, like Team Red Miner instead. And if you have a mix of NVIDIA and AMD cards, you'll have to use something like Phoenix Miner. So I've got T-Rex Miner running on my screen here and I know it can look a bit daunting with just all of this like matrix code but it, it's, it's fairly simple to set up actually but what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna shut this down because I need to download the new latest version of it. So to do that I just click on the window and then I hit Control C and then Y and enter to close the window. Actually, I think to show you guys this better, I'm going to be holding the camera instead. So, here we go. All right, so the first thing we need to do is of course open our web browser. And I'm just going to type in T-Rex Miner into the search bar. And I know I'm using Microsoft Edge and that defaults to using Bing as a search engine, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it work guys, all right? All right, I think I uh, fixed my camera settings to reduce that flicker for you guys. So there are a few different places you can get T-Rex Miner from. They have an official GitHub page here and there's also a official, if I can find that, here we go, Bitcoin talk thread. So I would recommend always going to the Bitcoin talk thread. And you want to make sure that it's the thread that has been posted by T-Rex miner. And it's, it's the one with like thousands of replies. So you can see here it has 77 um, pages of replies that that's a good indicator that this thread is the real thread the sort of official download thread for the miner so as you can see here it just gives you a bit of information about the miner itself and we just need to go down here and click on the windows download link and that will start to download t-rex miner all right, so that is just finished downloading now and it will have downloaded to our default downloads folder. So I can just click here to show in folder and it's downloaded it as a zip archive. So all I need to do is right click and hit extract all. And I will just extract here. Alright, so here is our miner and it is pretty much ready to start mining now. However, uh, there are two little things that we need to do first. And the first thing is 
we need to pick a mining pool to be a part of and I will have a video coming out on the channel about this really soon. Uh, it will talk about how to pick the best mining pool for you. But just for the sake of this video, um, I'm just going to show you how to set up uh, mining Ethereum on uh, the Ethermine pool. So we're going to open our browser again and we are going to go to ethermine.org. And up here on the right, you can see a little button that says start mining. And this will tell you how to connect your mining software, which in this case is T-Rex Miner, to Ethermine. So the main things we need to look at here is choosing our server. So you want to choose the server address that is closest to you. And the good thing about T-Rex Miner is it comes with a lot of these pre sort of like presets. So as you can see here, the first three letters or the, the first letters that are in uh, that are capitals of these files is the preset for the specific coin you want to be mining. So in our case, that is Ethereum, which is ETH. And then we want to be mining to Ethermine. So that is what the second bit of text is here. So we want this preset called ETH Ethermine.bat. So what we are going to do now is we are going to right click on that and hit edit. And of course Windows is going to freak out a little bit, but we aren't too worried. So we're going to click more info and we're going to say run anyway. There we go. So it is going to open up this little text file for us. And basically what we have here is it's saying start T-Rex miner, which is what this T-Rex.exe thing means. Then dash A means which algorithm are we going to be mining, which is ET hash. Then here you got this dash O, which this is the string that you need to change to set your uh, mining pool server address. So it is uh, because we're using the Ethermine preset, it has set it to the European Ethermine address. But if we go back here to the Ethermine website, we can see here, for example, if we wanna use the US East address, for example, all we need to do is just copy the address here, copy open our mining batch file again and we would just replace this string here with the one for uh, ethermine us server but i am actually in europe so i'm going to leave this as is and then we're moving on to here which it says dash u which this will be your wallet address so um, in the presets it will default to having the T-Rex developers wallet address here so you of course need to replace this with your own wallet address so that the coins you mine actually uh, end up in your wallet and not the uh, developers wallet then if your pool requires a password you need to put that after the dash p here and if your pool does not require a password just put a single lowercase x and then finally we got dash w here and that is for naming your worker so i'm going to name this worker 9x1660 super and then to save all of this i just hit the x button and save so now if i open this batch file this preset that we just edited just by double clicking it that will basically be it and it is as easy as that you can see we are now up and mining and we are making some ethereum and of course I never changed the wallet address to my own wallet address so I'm just going to have to do that but that is basically it for how to just set it up 
and get it to start mining and I would guess for 95% of you that is enough however I'm going to go through a few more things that you can do with T-Rex miner now so I'm just going to close the miner down command C and then Y and enter to close the shell so as you can see here in your um, T-Rex download folder you also get this readme.md file which if we right click and open with notepad you've got the um, the full sort of uh, user manual maybe we should call it that features all of the different commands you can run within T-Rex to sort of uh, change settings around and just things like that so for example here it shows you how to change your algorithm how to change what coin you're mining and so on and so forth um, there are a few um, settings here that I wanted to talk about because I feel they are important and the main one being I'm just looking for it here we go the memory tweak mode so if you own uh, specifically 1080 cards or 1080 Ti uh, GPUs then you will definitely um, want to look into how to use this memory tweak mode uh, because it's a, a feature that only works on Pascal GPUs with GDDR5 or GDDR5X memory and it, it basically sort of uh, unlocks those cards uh, like the true potential of those cards so for example um, you can get a pretty significant uh, hash rate boost on uh, 1080s and 1080 ti's so the way that works is the default is you just put dash dash mt zero and you can increase that number zero from zero to six and it's recommended that you do them in sort of like try one first see if that's stable then try two see if that's stable try three and so on and go as high as you can and that will increase your hash rate for 1080 and 1080 ti cards i also wanted to show you something really cool which is that T-Rex actually allows for you to overclock your cards right in the miner so you do not have to use um, MSI Afterburner when using T-Rex if you don't want to. So you can set your fan and you can set your fan either at a specific uh, percentage or like a speed percentage right or you can set your fan so that it will have a target temperature for your GPU. So if it goes above that target, it will increase the fan temperature. And if it goes below that target temperature, it will uh, reduce the fan speed, right? Easy enough. You can then also set the power limit of your GPUs and as well as your core clock. And that is defined as a offset in megahertz as well as you can set your memory clock and that is also defined as a offset in megahertz. But that is basically it for what I wanted to show you about T-Rex Miner today. And I recommend if you are interested to go through this little like readme file and read up on what these different um, commands do because you can customize your miner to do a lot of cool stuff. But if you just want it to get up and running and mining for you, then this video should have had you covered by now. So yeah, that is my sort of tutorial on how to use T-Rex Miner. And I thought I would just finish the video off by giving it a, like a little review about uh, T-Rex Miner as a mining software. And like the short of it is that it's great. Uh, it ha I have not run into any sort of issue or like lack of a feature um, with using it. It has everything that I've needed from a miner. It even has things that I don't even need like overclocking straight in the mining software itself. Like I'm so used to using MSI Afterburner that I'm still using MSI Afterburner. 
Um, I think that is it. Stay tuned on the channel so you don't miss that upcoming video on how to pick the best mining pool for you. And if this has been helpful or informative, then please give the video one of these. I'd really appreciate it. And what you gotta do now is you gotta click one of the videos on the screen. Because this video is over. And you can click on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that as well. Thank you so much for watching. But yeah, click on that next video and I'll see you in there. Goodbye. Bye bye.